Hey guys, what is going on? So today I'll do my week 13 NFL picks for today. The Thursday game I was so wrong about. I was expecting the Saints to win, but they lose by three points in a 13-10 loss to Dallas. Disappointing, they did not do very well. Also, other news, Kareem Hunt was arrested after hitting a woman, and since then the Chiefs have released him. And everyone's like, wow, that was a great, that was a good decision by Kansas City, considering, you know, he hit a woman, but she said the N-word to him, so kind of bounces back of who had who was really the one to blame so you know still hunt you can't hit a woman dude like everyone knows that that's domestic abuse and you will go to prison for that and he's most likely going to be serving prison time i think maybe but he's banned from the nfl just like ran right ray rice he never can come back i believe so without further but that's for another video so week 13, Ravens at the Falcons. Both teams are okay. Ravens 6 and 5, Baltimore 4 and 7. I think Baltimore is going to win this on the road uh, with Atlanta. I think they're out of the playoffs with this loose loss. They will be eliminated. And then the Broncos at the Bengals. I'm going to go Denver on the road here. They're favored by 4 and plus Andy Dalton's out for the season. You know, I heard he might even not even play anymore, but I think Denver wins this on the road. They've won a couple games in a row. And they still have a shot at the playoffs, but a lot of things have to happen for, the, for them to make it, actually. Buffalo to Miami Dolphins. I am going to go with the Bills. I think they can pull an upset on the road in Miami. Miami's looked very bad this season. 5-6, I think they're going to lose this. I think Buffalo can show them who they are, and the defense can shut down the Dolphins. Indianapolis to Jacksonville. Indianapolis has been hot. They've won six in a row. Sorry, five in a row since starting one and five. They have really been good. And they're going to win six in a row by beating the Jaguars on the road, who completely look horrible and going to fall to three and nine. Then the Jets of the Titans. I'm going to go Tennessee here. I don't think the Jets have any chance of winning this game. Sorry. Even with Josh McCown starting for the third game in a row, I just don't think it's going to happen. Then it's Arizona, Green Bay. I'm going to pick the Packers on here. They have The Packers have the same record as Cleveland now, but I think Green Bay wins this one. Cleveland and Houston. I'm going to go Houston on at home. They've won eight straight, and they're going to win nine here with the victory over the Texans. I mean, Browns, but this is going to be a very close game. Probably decided by three or seven points. So, And then Los Angeles Rams of the Lions. Easy one. Rams are going to win this game. Yeah, I just don't think the Lions have a good chance of winning this. They looked horrible this season. I think the Rams are going to really exploit them. I think it's going to be a blowout for the Rams. And then the Bears at the Giants. This game's going to be a joke to watch. Bears' defense is going to destroy Eli in their offense. In fact, I think the Bears may even score. It's going to be a 48-10 game for the Bears. Then carolina Tampa Bay rematch of the last couple weeks. About a couple, back in week nine, I think they played. Carolina won home. Carolina's going to win on the road. I think their three-game lose streak is going to come to an end in Tampa, facing Jameis Winston. So... That's finally going to end. Then in uh, Kansas City at uh, Oakland, despite Kansas City cutting Kareem Hunt, I think the offense should be able to win this game, and they'll make the playoffs, but I think they'll probably lose in the playoffs without Hunt. Then Minnesota, New England. This game's going to be very good. I have to pick New England here because they're at home. If it was in Minnesota, I'd go Minnesota. Actually, I'd still pick New England, but we're probably going to have a high-scoring game here, maybe 42-34, 41-40, 40, maybe 48-47, 45-42, somewhere in that range. It's going to be a good uh, game. Then San Francisco at Seattle. Richard Sherman plays against his former team. This should be very interesting. I think he's going to have a lot, lot of words to say, especially for the Seahawks and Pete Carroll. Can't wait to see that. Sunday night, tonight, Chargers at the Steelers. I have to go with the Chargers. Both teams are very good, though. But I think the Chargers are on a serious run to make the Super Bowl. And they're easily favorites. Plus, Rivers and the offense has been on a good on a good track. And the defense has been very good. I think the offense can sh stop Pittsburgh's defense. And I think the Chargers' defense can shut down the Steelers' offense. But I think we also could have a very high... We could have a high-scoring game in a shootout. Monday night, then the Redskins at the Eagles. Eagles, this is a much-win need for them. If they don't win this... Their chances of winning the division and the and going to the playoffs is going to be gone, pretty much. And that's everyone else in the division is horrible. We know the Giants are eliminated, so they're not even the conversation. There's no chance for them. 
Redskins are still alive, and the Cowboys are still alive with a victory over the Saints. But I'm going to pick the Eagles to win here. I think Washington loses their sixth game. I think the Eagles rebound, and they get back on track. Hopefully they, make, hopefully they can make the playoffs. That's going to be from a Week 13 NFL Picks and review, Preview. See ya.